Almost immediately, you are drawn to its beauty. The man who made the political decision to build it in 1981 puts it this way. Pretty soon, they will be calling a bridge in San Francisco the Skyway West. Well, probably not, but looks alone will make this one of the most famous bridges in America. I see it as truly being a, you know, a wonder, uh, an engineering wonder, certainly in the state of Florida. It's this aspect of the bridge which may be the least appreciated by area residents. Experts from all over the world have come here to look and listen. In the engineering circles, this bridge is considered uh, a real masterpiece, and to hear that from your peers is, uh, I feel really proud to be part of that. The concepts took shape in Europe 40 years ago. Bridges made of concrete segments were developed following the Second World War because of the severe steel shortage. And unlike a traditional suspension bridge, the Skyway is held up by huge cables running down the center. Thus, it is one of the largest bridges of its type in the world and will be used to promote construction of similar structures. It's the longest concrete span bridge in North and South America. It's one that is the leading edge of technology when it was designed and in, during its construction. But technology aside, the new bridge must serve our needs, which are several besides tourism. Tampa's concerns are centered on port activities, and the man who safeguarded those interests after the bridge accident says he's still watching. Anytime you have a structure uh, of any sort that traverses a busy, uh, a busy shipping lane, uh, there is always some danger present. The first Skyway spurred development, especially to the south, and it's expected to happen again. I think it'll be a, an economic generator for us as well as move traffic uh, safely and effectively for many, many years to come. And the work is not over. More protective barriers for the bridge piers will take two years to construct. A navigational aid system for shipping is only in the design stage. The high spans of the old Skyway must be torn down, but the lower sections will be saved for fishermen. We'll have almost four miles of fishing pier out there that people can come, and I think it'll be a great attraction. It will be about a month before the bridge is open to traffic, but some of those first across the first bridge in 1954 can't wait. If I can get across that bridge the day it opens, I will. I mean, if there's some, some way, somehow, I mean, I'm, that's my, my thinking right now. Is I... And it is a magnificent, magnificent structure, there's no question about it. Are you looking forward to riding over that one? Yes, I am. I'd be very disappointed if I don't get to. But enthusiasm is tempered with some hard reality. I'm afraid people are going to try to take advantage of the extra room, probably go faster. I just hope that they have safeguards to keep people from jumping and, and doing foolish things. Ironically, the beauty of the bridge may serve to draw those looking for a last attempt at glory, especially at night when the skyway will look like this, a beacon that can be seen from almost any horizon.